Thanks for joining us on National Focus. I am Priska Julian. Coming up, over $1.7 million for Despo Road and DSC signed students charged with environmental protection. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. Child abuse is unacceptable. Child abuse is not cultural, it is criminal. And one child abuse is one to many. For more information on child abuse or to report suspected cases on child abuse, contact the Social Welfare Division on 33 Great Marlboro Street or call 266-3020 or 266-3080. Thanks for staying with us. Commuters and residents of Despo will soon be the beneficiaries of an over $1.7 million road, compliments of the government of Dominica. Dominica's Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt made the announcement at a town hall meeting in Sylvania on Sunday. We started some work on the Despo road. I know it's incomplete and there's committed funds for that. So you, 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 will, you, will, you will complete this. The PARP has been lobbying very heavily in the cabinet and he's been lobbying me bilaterally on the Despo Campbell Road. And I believe that he has made a very strong case to justify the need to construct that road for a number of reasons. This whole area is very vulnerable and sometimes access can be compromised. You know, either a Campbell End or through the Sylvania Corona area. I'm giving a public commitment, uh, Minister. Comrade Blackmore and, and to you, the residents of Despo and Campbell, and, and of course this Corona and um, Sylvan area, that we will make the 1.7 mills available to construct this road once and for all for the residents of Despo. The Dominica leader stated that government recognizes the needs of the people of the Mahu constituency. We recognize the importance of it, and in speaking to the residents of, of Campbell over an extended period of time. And I see the anxiety on their faces, the concern that, look, if the road get, gets um, blocked on the, on the campbell Mao Road, what's going to happen to us? And Campbell itself is a highly vulnerable, vulnerable community. And our hope is that once constructed, it will certainly enhance the, the possibilities and opportunities for you in those two communities. Less than a year after the Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt made the pronouncement in the 2016-2017 national budget, the National Health Insurance Pilot Program has been formally launched. Kimani Seja was at this ceremony and filed this report. The government of Dominica, in collaboration with the Dominica Social Security and the Pan American Health Organization, launched the pilot program at the Fortune Hotel on Monday morning. The National Health Insurance Pilot Program will assist young mothers and mothers-to-be relieve the plight of securing funds necessary to finance the cost of critical health care for both themselves and their infants. The nation's leader says the launching of the program is a source of immense pride for him. However, Honorable Skerritt says he was more inclined to give kudos to the hard-working public servants who sought to it that the program was implemented less than a year after its pronouncement. So from the time this idea was adumbrated in the 2016 budget address, the financial secretary, officials in the Dominican Social Security, Ministry of Health and other related agency literally went to town on the mechanics of making it happen. And as a consequence, we are here today, less than 12 months later, declaring this significant milestone accomplished. I am particularly proud of this. He says the idea of the initiative was born from witnessing the day-to-day -day challenges of the vulnerable. Ever since this concept was outlined, I have been inundated with calls and requests from single mothers across the island inquiring of its commencement date and whether in fact it will be implemented during the period of vulnerability and need. We have as a nation to find ways of helping those in need and those who cannot always help themselves. It is, our direct, it is in our direct consultations with ordinary people of Dominica 
that this NHI pilot was born. Meantime, Honorable Minister for Health, Dr. Kenneth Daru, called the program a breakthrough and historic event. This is yet another manifestation of this government's honoring its commitments to the people that it serves, and in this particular case, reforming the health sector of Dominica and taking it to the next level. The provision of optimal health care services and access to the services by all has always been a priority for this government. And those of us who follow regional and international events would know that many a country, developed and developing alike, would have grappled with finding solutions for decades now. And the rising cost of health services and the ever-increasing demand in the sector by now a very knowledgeable client, client sorry, thanks of course to the advance in technology such as the internet, coupled with emerging and re-emerging health threats brought about by ever-changing climatic conditions and other factors would have made finding that perfect solution to solving this very important issue of universal health co coverage extremely difficult. Honorable Daru justified the need for such a program in light of the rising cost of access to health care. While the need for a national health insurance program was determined decades ago, Honorable Daru indicated that it took the ingenuity of this Labour Party administration to make it a reality. He detailed the program. The pilot national health insurance approved by the Cabinet of the Commonwealth of Dominica is as follows. As mentioned, the target group will include mothers below the age of 35 who are pregnant or have children three years and under, and the mothers shall be residents or living permanently in Dominica, both nationals and non-nationals. The benefit package includes the private sector services not available from or provided by the government, it of course excludes services provided at primary health care level because these services are already free of charge. It will also include services which are not available locally, that is the few times that they will have to travel. Of course, with the advent of the new hospital and new services, we are optimistic and very confident that the need to travel will become less and less. But of course, that is subject to referral from the relevant specialists within the government system and or approved by the medical services director. The program will pay up to 80% of medical bills and the remaining 20% will be met by the claimant. If the claimant is unable to pay, then the amount will be given as a loan and a payment plan will be arranged between the Dominica Social Security and the claimant. Honorable Darius says in extreme cases and under recommendation from the Dominica Social Security, government may provide a grant to meet expenses. The program will be accessed using the multipurpose identification card. One mother has already benefited from the program. She is currently in Barbados getting medical attention for her three months old baby. I feel happy. I feel happy. I am very happy for it. I am going to multiply the movements of money for implementing that because medical is very expensive especially when you want to go overseas it's going to be done. It can be really frustrating when you have more different or you can meet the requirements. Not really go to the front, you just kind of meet the requirements of it. So it's a very good program for those. I mean, I'm the first one receiving it, but I am sure there is others to get help from that, and it's a very good program to continue with. An initial amount of $5 million from the Citizenship by Investment Program will start the NHIP. Honorable Finance Minister handed over a check in that amount to the Honorable Minister for Health, who handed over to the Executive Director of the Dominica Social Security. Memoranda of understanding were also signed between the Ministry of Finance and the Dominica Social Security and the Ministry of Health and the Dominica Social Security. The NHIP will serve as a platform for government to devise a national health insurance program. NHIP program, healthcare for you and your infants. Child that we own you pregnant, wants you replaced by your medical consultants. Kimani Seja for GIS News. Thank you for that report, Kimani. 
Also this news time, the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development began recognition of Numeracy Week on Monday. Numeracy Week is a signature mathematics program organized by the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development every two years. This year, Numeracy Week will run from Monday, April 3rd to April 6th under the theme Mathematics through Technology, Engineering and Play. Improvement in numeracy skills is part of the National Strategy Plan of the Ministry of Education instituted to sharpen and improve the mathematics understanding and skills of students, both at primary and secondary levels. During this week, students will participate in numeracy activities in schools. The week of activities will culminate on April 6 with a grand exhibition at the Public Service Union building. Students will display math projects and will be awarded prizes for their work. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. Welcome back. Head of the Dominica State College's Sciences Department, Colleen Richards, is stating that it is the hope of the college that students use the current world environmental crisis as fuel to drive their goal for a better world. She was speaking at the opening ceremony of the DSC's second annual Science Week on Monday. The needs of the world at this time with all our disastrous climate change events crisis of poverty, lack of effective medication, incurable diseases on the rise, challenges in construction to withstand the weather patterns, and so much more should encourage in all our students a drive, a zeal to want to be part of the solution to this our global environmental crisis. Our hope and vision for our students is that they may recognize that they live in a time in which they so need to take advantage of the vast opportunities which a study in their disciplines in science affords them to take their place. Not later, but now. Not in the future, but now. To continue research for cures, more effective, environmentally safe antibiotics, pesticides, practices, and so much more. Science Week is an avenue allowing DSC science students to display their work, network, as well as to help them decide on future career choices. Dean of Arts and Sciences, Diana Angol, encouraged students to take advantage of the opportunities provided during the week of activities. Take full advantage of the opportunities which have been planned for your benefit this week practical opportunities for learning, sharing your passion for science, displaying your talents and creativity, raising the, enviro the environmental consciousness of our public. Featured speaker Senator Jai Zaya Binwa noted the importance of scientific knowledge in combating numerous global challenges. Limited scientific knowledge may lead to some environmental challenges as we chart forward in our path to development. However, scientific knowledge will always be, and I repeat, it will always be the mitigating factor against many of the global environmental challenges that we face. Challenges such as climate change, challenges such as the energy crisis, limited fresh water, desertification, and a loss of biodiversity. It requires us to take stock of new technologies which we must utilize to minimize our ecological footprint. It requires us to change our perception of science as something for the nerds, for those who like chemistry and physics, or those in a laboratory. Scientific principles and phenomena affect us every day. Moreover, our daily habits and actions can be the cause of environmental degradation if left unchecked. He noted that this is especially important for small island developing states such as Dominica. As a small island developing state, environmental challenges are of particular concern to us as Dominicans since we are extremely vulnerable to their impacts. We are often, however, not the cause of such environmental problems, nor do we have the resources 
to mitigate and adapt to them. This is why organizations such as the United Nations and its numerous subsidiary bodies, such as the United Nations Environmental Program, United Nations Development Program, Global Environmental Facility, and others are so critical. They serve as a platform for science to be applied for social development and the greater good of humanity. Because we're not speaking of these issues in a vacuum, and we're not speaking of solving them for solving them's sake. If we do not address climate change, or take steps to address climate change, in the next 15 years, there are several coastal communities which will be no more. Are any of us prepared to see a future such as this? Therefore, we must redouble our efforts and commit ourselves to the study of science. Dean of Academic Affairs and Registrar of DSC, Shiloh Esprit, had this charge to the students. As much as you want to stay in your lab and do your work, have fun with your chemicals, or run your experiments for anatomy and physiology, science is deeply political and politicized. And you have to be political activists in the name of the truth that you will spend your career finding. Ed educate the public every chance you get on why we do indeed have a global environmental crisis. Spend the time investing in talking to your friends about why a simple thing as using styrofoam or dropping a paper on the floor has an impact that will lead you somewhere to a major environmental crisis like we had with Tropical Storm Erica. In more news, Honorable Minister for Agriculture Johnson Drago has encouraged Dominican farmers to uphold their agreements with Dominica Export Import Agency Dexia. Addressing a town hall meeting at Monrachet, the minister explained that farmers who do not maintain commitments of providing Dexia with agricultural produce are causing serious damage to markets established by Dexia. If you enter into a program with Dexia, to produce any of the products that I have mentioned, you must stick to your plans. Because what we are doing now, we are securing markets across the Caribbean, but we have to maintain these markets. One of the problems the buyers out there have with Dominica is that we are not consistent in our supplies. They go into an agreement with us, Foodexia, that we will provide them with one 20 foot container of dashing fortnightly and within after free shipment we have no more produce to supply them and largely because the farmers who enter into the agreement with Dexia as long as their crops are ready they will sell it to the highest bidder for 10 cents more and they destroy a structured secured market this cannot continue the Honorable Minister warned that there is no competition arising for agricultural markets. Therefore, Dominica cannot afford to be inconsistent with production. We have competition. St. Vincent is moving produce into Antigua. Dominican Republic is moving produce into Antigua. And all of the traditional markets that we had in, um, in the north, which were our own, our lucrative markets, it's not ours only anymore. We have competition out there. What is saving us is the quality of Dominica's agricultural produce is still the best in the region. Honorable Drago further stated that there is a current demand for agricultural produce from Dexia. We need an increase in production on the island at this time. Persons are asking for more of the fresh produce from Dominica. I just saw um, um, uh, a note where some 7,000 pounds of yam, just one person moved out um, um, yesterday out of the park houses. Dexia needs agricultural produce. Dexia has a structured program where farmers can be contracted to produce dashing, plantains, yams, Potatoes, you name it. And that's the English segment of the news. Shakira Pierre is next with Creole Highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel Creole. Nous sommes Shakira Pierre. 
Gouvernement Dominique Nick lance un programme insurance pour maman tout sa glane ou bien sa qui enceinte et puis aussi enfants trois l'année et puis plus bas qui mérite assistance médicale et puis yon pas à Ford. Yon cérémonie pour place bon matin là pour te lancer le programme là. Moun qui mérite assistance qui tape 80% paye ka compte et puis yon même ka fait contribution 20%. Le programme là, si Dominica Social Security a valé 5 millions de dollars, qui le gouvernement fait avec la pour DSS Jordi là. Ministre Santé, Honorable Dr. Kenneth Dar représente l'argent là pour le directeur Dominica Social Security, Janice Jean-Jacques Thomas, Jordi là. Premièrement, comme ministre Santé, je suis très content pour voir que, que finalement que nous, nous avons avancé à um, discussion et pas discussion, nous avons avancé à um, un pilot programme, um, nous avons créé un um, National Health Insurance Pilot Programme. Et bien, quand nous savons que National Health Insurance avec Universal Health Coverage, c'est un topic que, que le gouvernement et bien, et si Dominique, et bien, le gouvernement régional international, c'est un topic qui a parlé combien, combien d'années, 20, 30 années, nous avons parlé comme ça. Et bien, nous avons que le mystique là, pour tout le monde qui a fait, que nous avons essayé pour que nous avons fait un travail pour tout le monde. Mais ça nous, ça nous, ça nous, ça nous, ça nous fait, ça nous fait, ça nous fait, Dominique, et nous sommes nous, nous, nous d'accord, nous avons passé un pour tout le monde, une fois. And, and, and our target um, um, population is so a single mother who below 45 years old with children, and who is 3 years old. And we can work with them, 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 and we can work with Lot, 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 lot group qui vulnerable. Peut-être, peut lot fois c'est single parents comme single fathers. Peut-être quand on a fait ça, peut-être lot fois nous capable. So moi, quand quand mes instants, moi quand ils m'ont montré excité, donc moi quoi c'est, moi quoi c'est, à matière mais c'est un bon moment pour 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 être mes 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 instants. Et avec tout, avec tout ça qu'a fait l'hôpital neuf là, nous qu'a commencé l'hôpital Marigot tout de suite. Tout ça, vous savez que nous tapé un 5 millions, 5 millions de dollars au Mexique, au gouvernement Mexico. Et ben nous qu'a fait des Health Center neuf en en année ça là. Et ben nous tout ce exciting programme là, like and see clearly now. So en j'ai bien fait marcher. So move les, so move les refuse toutes ces statements là. C'est mon capable les quoi t'as mis les cas, cas cas t'as fait comme tu dis well. Qui sont en Dominique, c'est 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 à d'autres nouvelles, travail qui a commencé à se mettre pour protéger les résidents de Dublin et puis mauvais délige la Vela. Il a contracté entre BNTF et puis compagnie Caribbean Concrete Limited à valer 500 avec 19 700 avec 35 dollars. Travail sala a expecté pour mener employment par résident de Dublin et puis il a dit que six semaines. Mon parlement pour Dublin, Honorable Lady Catherine Daniel, bien plaisir pour poser là. Eh bien, moi-même, moi, bien content pour le projet ça là. J'en dis blanc même que plus content de passer moi, parce que le que, projet ça là qui protège, si la pièce là est venue, il que ça dormi simple, sans pièce problème. So, nous sommes contents pour ça. Ça m'a dit que c'est Jean dis blanc là pour aider le contracteur là, pour le projet là, fait bien douce, bien sweet, bien vite. Moi, je dis pour dire merci pour CDB, Carbon Development Bank, et puis aussi le gouvernement Dominique. Parce que depuis après Tropical Storm Erica, le gouvernement a gardé pour tout le monde, build back better, bagay ni pour faire plus bien, parce que pour protéger le monde du désastre qui est venu. Donc, le projet ça là, c'est un such projet qui est et les mouns pour te croire. Et puis finalement, même parlement pour Saint-Joseph, Honorable Kelvin Daru, bien plaisir avancement qui a fait en éducation en constituency là. Honorable Daru fait parole ça la pendant your town hall meeting en Saint-Joseph semaine passée. Si l'Honorable Daru, 60 000 dollars dépensés pour faciliter l'éducation des enfants. Teacher facilite l'éducation ça la engagé en bas NEP. Honorable Daru aussi dit que St. Joseph a bénéficié de notre programme de transportation pour négocier l'école. Étudier qui a atteint Dominica State College là et puis Business Training Center qui a aussi reçu une assistance pour transportation. Le gouvernement a aussi financé les étudiants, payé tuition, DSC 
et puis BTC. Ça, c'est tout pour nouvelle à Creole. Non, moi, c'est Shakira Pierre. Au revoir. Thank you, Shakira. Coming up next, your tip on getting the right health insurance policy. No one plans to get sick or hurt, but most people need medical care at some point. Health insurance covers these costs and offers many other important benefits. Here are a few things to consider when shopping around for health insurance. Shop around for care. Obviously, you can't do this for emergencies and it's irrelevant for catastrophic situations, but for routine service or for things you can plan in advance for, look for cost estimators online. Also, master your plan's rules. Don't assume that all plans are designed alike. They're not. And what you don't know can cost you. When you get a new plan, spend a few minutes with its standardized summary of benefits and coverage form. And lastly, plan according to your future needs. One of the most important things to consider while choosing an insurance plan is to think of the needs that might arise in the future, such as starting a family or aging parents. That's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow our Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is also available on our YouTube channel 24 hours a day. From all of us here in the GIS News production team, I am Priska Julian. Thanks for watching.